Yeah, a little bit, man. You know, the, you know, I was really hot out there. Uh, it felt good. You know, my teammates were treating me really well. And uh, you know, when we run that four out one end look, you know, with Caleb inside, team, you know, teams are always coming to double them. It really opens the floor, you know, for you know, open shots, you know, open driving lanes, things like that. So it was good. So we've talked to you a lot in the last couple of days about you know, keep making the most of your opportunity. What does it feel like in a game like this when the shots just keep falling? Yeah, honestly, you know, that's great, but like. I'm really, we're really just focused on pushing to get to the tournament, and that's really it's all, all. Oh, that's really it's all on mind right now. Um, we're really focused on that. We're focusing on a uh, better day by day, and you know we're excited for it. So, gotta keep working. We talked about punching your ticket to the tournament. Has that been like a constant discussion, or has that been constantly in the back of your guys' mind, knowing that you guys have to? What you guys uh, have to do? Yeah, we don't really talk about it much. But, you know, like we like in the locker room, we all know how bad like we want to be there. You know. You don't make the tournament, you know. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of a bummer. You know, it's not like a bad, a bad season for you, but then again, it's not what you expect. It's not like what you want to experience in, in college basketball. So, yeah. Caleb, what, what was it like seeing Justin go off in the second half? From your perspective? Wet, dirty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was just man. It was just great. You know, you see him putting up extra shots after after every practice. You know, you just see it pay off. It's just great to see that kind of stuff. Justin. Coach Holman had talked about last week just the way you were acting on the bench was why he put you in the game. And had none of these shots been coming in practice, was that really the case that you just cheered to get his attention? Uh, it could be something like that, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm kind of active fool on the bench when I'm out there. You know, I like you know bringing energy to the floor, and I think that's something special about our group. You know, as you saw tonight, everybody, you know, the whole team is going crazy, and you know, it's just something you you really want in a team. You know, it makes it that much more fun. So, you know, it's great. Justin, were you surprised at how open you were all day, all night long? Uh, to be honest, tonight I didn't really see him out there. You know, if I, if I got the ball, it looked like when I got hot, it was going up. But, you know, I haven't really played all year, so they probably didn't have the scouting report, you know. So, uh, regardless, you know, I'm going to keep working and I'm, I'm going to keep doing what I can do to help this team win. And then the first half looked like passing into the post was great. Second half passing out of the post was great. But Caleb, do you think this is the best passing performance for the team this year, or was it up there for you? We really had. We had a You've had more assists, but yeah, it just seemed. Turnovers, but still, yeah, I feel like we, we better than 21. We had 21 turnovers before. So <laughs> I feel like we're going, we're going in the right direction. Caleb, he had 29 points tonight, which is the story of the night, but you used to build up a statue on your own. How much, when he's shooting like that, how much did that help you down the line? You know, if guys hit shots like that, they can't come down on me as much. And they got to go out there. So when they come down, I'm passing it out, and they're hitting one of the shots. It's just the best in the basketball. Do you feel like you kept a little bit of the groove yourself down low? Do you see points about rebounds? Do you feel like you can follow a little bit of yourself based off of what they were doing outside of the corner? Yeah, like I said, it makes me easy basketball. When they're hitting shots, that means I'm playing one-on-one -on -one basketball in the post. Justin, you came here as a shooter, so we knew that these nights would come at some point, but Coach Holden's talked about you, know, you have to not let yourself get down when, when those shots aren't going in. You have to do other things. What is it that you've been able to do to, I, I know Austin asked about the stuff on the bench, but to, to attract his attention, what other stuff have you worked on to finally get the shot to, to take those shots? Uh, yeah, you know, just being, you know, bringing it every day in practice. You know, he always uh, emphasizes how, you know, like take the season day by day, you know, and our results are going to be what, what, what we want them to be, you know. Uh, you gotta, you know, you gotta come and punch your ticket every day. You know, you gotta work, you gotta work hard in practice. You know, you gotta take care of your body and things like that. And then when it's game time, you know, practice makes perfect, so you're ready to go. Um, but yeah, we st we definitely got a lot of work to do. But you know, it's it's a process. Okay, we had three steals, but CJ had two. Um, it just seemed like you guys were really active, sort of in your hands, like guys were trying to get to the rim. And I know the offense sticks out the way Justin shot sticks out too. But defensively, what did you think of your performance? And Yeah, like, like you said, I thought we were really active on defense. Had our hands out. And we played solid defense. Um, we got some calls, but you know, you just got to take possession by possession. And then though, um, you guys have been sort of itching to get a win like this, and this Big Ten slate has not gone maybe how you wanted it to on the whole. But to go through where you guys went through that losing streak, some ups and downs, that at this point in the year to put together a performance like this, just what does it say about your group that you know you, you could have maybe you know folded a little bit if you wanted to, and you guys have been. Um, just speaks to our resilience, you know, really taking it day by day, trying to get better every day. 
and I feel like it showed it. Just uh, for either player, uh, maybe Mikhail, uh Four and a half minutes left, Cook intercepts the pass. Looks like he's going into a run. <coughs> Monster jam, and your brother was blocks it. How big of a play was that? And can you just talk about it? That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. I was, I was at half court and I saw it and I was like, you know, coach always emphasizes, you know, move on to the next play. But really when I saw that, I was like, like he just pinned it against the glass above, like right by the square. You know, that was a critical play in the game for us. I feel like, you know, it definitely, they could have got momentum off that leg, you know, and got another steal maybe, you never know. Um, that block, you know, uh, stopping them to get that basket was big. One or two more. Justin, it seemed like each three you made in the second half, you became, I guess more and more confident, especially you know going back onto defense, like showing kind of Iowa uh, what you just did with like your reactions and like and you saw the bench reacting. How quickly does it take for you to gain that confidence with your shot? You just see it going in, you see the bench cheering you on. How does that feel? How much confidence did you gain after that second half? Uh, you know, I always have a lot of confidence. I feel like uh, every shot, I feel like you know, something I've trained myself to do uh, since I was little was you know my dad always told me too you know. You miss shots, you got to move on. You know, you can't hang your head on it. You can, if you make a bad play, you can't hang your head on it. You know, if you turn the ball over, you can't hang your head on it. You got to get back to the next play. Uh, you know, make something happen. So, regardless, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be confident. But you know, definitely seeing my teammates, you know, hyping me up like that was crazy. It was awesome. And having that enthusiasm that you showed on the bench, kind of having an opportunity to have that same enthusiasm on the court. How did that kind of your momentum kind of establish the mood for the entire game? Yeah, you know, I feel like. The team's uh, energy on the bench really gave us a boost on the court, you know. They were talking to us on D when we were on that end, uh, on the defensive end, you know, calling off screens, calling off sets. Uh, everybody was engaged, you know, all, all everybody on the team was engaged, and I, and I think that's really a big part of the reason why we won by. I Last one, it. Steve. Caleb, uh, this was the most points you guys had scored since Penn State, like, three weeks ago. You had 74 points in that game. You hit 90 tonight. Just, you guys have been scuffling 50, 60 point games. Just, what does it mean, and, and what could it mean for you guys not to say he's going to score 29 points every night, but if he can give you a solid 10 to 12 points from here on in, anything like that, a contribution, just what will it mean to get another score going for you guys? Uh, that's great. You know, everybody still gets their role and feel really well. And tonight, I tell you, I tell you guys all the time, we have a lot of guys out here who get 20. You know, we don't have a certain, a certain just go get 30 guy. So I feel like everybody's jumping in their roles and we're moving. What do you think Makes this sense. does for the psyche of this team, Caleb? I mean, you've been in the tournament last year, and, and you guys have been touch and go here since that losing streak. Just does this get you guys over some type of a psychological barrier, being the you know, first win of a ranked team this year? No, oh, it's, it's a big, it's a big thing, you know, uh, going into the tournament. Yeah, you know, big wins like this, and we don't rank a good opponent like Iowa. There's no easy win in the Big Ten. Right. It's, it's a good win tonight. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.